Right, just over a month until testing begins in Formula One as the teams and the drivers find out how the cars have adapted to the new regulations for the season. Craig Slater's at Force India's headquarters at Silverstone. See how they're getting on. <sighs> Thank you very much indeed and welcome to Force India headquarters who had a marvellous season last year. You can see their trophy caveat, a couple of Sergio Perez's two podiums here. He had a great year as well, seven in total in his career. He's in the factory today, he's over here. You can see that when you get Formula One drivers in the country, you've got to get absolutely everything done. So Arshad Mahmood from Apsley Taylor's is here fixing his suit. And this is quite an interesting aspect because a lot of the drivers are putting weight on. So I'm going to ask Arshad first, is there a bigger collar size measurement with Sergio this year? Has he got bigger neck muscles? Well, he's definitely getting stronger, I will say. Uh, size is almost the same, but definitely a bit more st stronger. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, what have you been doing? Because we keep hearing, Sergio, that these cars are going to be the fastest in F1 history. Really tough uh, G-forces to deal with as well. So has there been extra preparation? Yeah, definitely. It's been uh, quite an intense preparation. Uh, we're going on to a new generations of cars, um, which are going to be a lot more demanding in all the aspects. The races as well are going to be quite a lot faster with less tire degradation. So it's putting everything more stress on the, on the drivers and um, the G-forces and everything. So yeah, it's been already a month and a half of, uh, of preparation and it's still uh, probably another month to go before the season starts, uh, before the testing starts. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to be on top of my game, uh, physically 100% ready for the start of this new generation of cars. Yeah. Maybe we'll talk about tyres in a minute because that's an area of your expertise uh, and they're, they're changing next season. But a bit of a change around, no world champion competing. Nico Rosberg's retired. Valtteri Bottas got the seat, someone who you outscored last year. So were you ever in contention at all for that Mercedes drive? Uh, no, not really. I was uh, mainly, um, I, I had a contract with my team and uh, I'm very much looking forward to to this new year. I think uh, my team is in a great position uh, the way we can approach this year. I think it's uh, obviously we come from the best season in the history of the team, the best season for myself as well. So I think there's plenty of hope for this season and, and let's see what, what we can bring. I think we can be one of the big surprises this year. Well, we'd love to see Force India win a race, that, that would be fantastic. There are new owners coming into Formula One and have said they want to even things up to give teams maybe like yourselves a chance. How could they go about doing that? Well, I think we, we have to revise the way they, they, the, the, the prices, they, they give the prices as well to, to the bigger teams and the difference to the midfield teams, you know, which is quite big. So it's quite difficult that the midfield teams can compete against the big teams that uh, basically they just get a lot more money than, than the midfield team. So I think it's something that can be revised and will be good for the sport, for the show, to, to improve the midfield teams to, to have better competition amongst all of us. Uh, looking at the tyres, you talked about them, they're going to be bigger. You can see an array of Pirelli tyres around the wall here, but you were someone who could make those tyres last. You, you could coax them to a few extra laps. Now we're hearing drivers are going to be able to push them hard. Um, does that take any kind of advantage away from you, Sergio? Uh, I want to believe not, because I think the way that I was good on the tyres was because I was preparing to that, you know. I think let's wait and see what, what the approach is going to be in the races. But I think I was good on reading the races and, and understanding how to manage my tires. I think obviously there will be some kind of management that you have to do with, the, with these new tires. But uh, it will be interesting to see what the limitations are. And obviously, I have to adapt myself onto a new generation of cars like everyone else. So, so I have to work hard on my driving style to try to get the best out of the car. I'm sure you can, and we wish you well this year. It's great talking Thanks. to you as ever, Thanks. Sergio Thanks. Perez. Yeah, I'm getting pins and needles with excitement looking ahead to this 2017 Formula One season.